With that being said, uh, 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 always pay it forward, right? Is that, is that it? Wow. No. That was really bad. Yeah. So, do you know what we're filming today? Nope. That's right. We're gonna be working on this windshield right here. Now, do you know what we're gonna be doing on this windshield right here? Cleaning it. That's right. We're gonna be removing the scratches on this windshield. Do you see all these scratches? There's like tons of them all over the place. Do you know how to do that? No. Neither do I. So we're gonna figure it out together. That is exactly what we're gonna do, Miguel. We're gonna figure it out together. Never done this before in my life, but we're gonna pretend like we're not two dumb idiots. We're gonna figure this out. Now, before we do that, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of our content. And by the end of this video, if you found it useful or entertaining, go ahead and click the like button. It really helps this video out. With that, go ahead and roll the intro. All right, Miguel, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta get this uh, polishing tool that I bought at Harbor Freight. Do you remember me doing that? Nope, you don't, clearly. You don't remember me doing that. You know why? Because I went without you. So, let's go get the polishing wheel. You have no idea where you're going. Look, no, don't. you don't even know what you're going to get. What am I grabbing? That is so ridiculous. You just went over to the bench. Polishing wheel, what looks like a polishing wheel to you? Probably one of these things that's in the shape of a circle. Yeah. That's right. So we have a few here. We have an ultra fine foam. We have a fine foam. <laughs> it's like a, then we have a sexy foam. Nope, that's a medium foam. I thought we were kind of on the theme here. Get it? No. Ultra fine foam, fine foam, then sexy <laughs> foam. Okay, well. Then we're gonna use this, which is not like a deep cutting compound because I'm not like trying to Scratch it more. Exactly. God, you're so freaking smart. Oh, I love you so much. And then we're gonna use this wheel right here to kind of like, kind of polish it up, you know? Then we're gonna try to do this without burning the glass. Because if we spend too much time like this on the glass, then it heats it up and it's gonna like jack it up. So what we should probably do is do like small like test spot maybe like right here somewhere and this thing is freaking heavy yeah but we'll do like a small test spot somewhere like here just in case we jack anything up we're good that's it what do you think sounds fun should be easy breezy right yeah so first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and get this like cleaned off from all the contaminants that are probably on it and then we need to tape up actually hold this real quick we need to tape up all this around here so we don't get any like polishing and anything on it so we'll use our painter's tape to uh get it all taped up we'll pull these things up like this and tape all this up and we should be good to go easy breezy lemon peasy right i think i said that saying wrong but who easy, cares easy lemon squeeze me. that's the one uh not squeeze me miguel squeezy squeezy yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah not squeeze me yeah that's what i meant that was inappropriate this is supposed to be pg you just took it triple x oh i get it so the painter's tape's gonna be in there. So go ahead and grab that. And we're also gonna need that rubbing alcohol. And we're gonna need a microfiber cloth, a clean one. So you could uh, wipe this off really good. That's how you clean? Miguel, do you care what people think? Not really. No, me neither. I don't care. I don't care if they think that we're stupid. I'm, I'm, I don't care if they tell the truth. I actually had a really good grade point average in school. So 1.8. I, I, I had a 3.4. Uh, everybody knows the lower the number, the better. Oh, because you're like the, in the higher percentile. Exactly. Duh. Obviously. So do you work your way up with all of these fine foams or? So the plan I'm thinking that we do is we'll start off with the ultra fine one and then the compound just in case because I don't want to do like really heavy cutting unless I need to. So I'd rather start off with like the thinnest, like lightest one um, and then work my way up if I need to do stronger cutting, like if I even need to. But you're probably not going to need to. So I'm going to use this one to start off with and then yeah. Go from there. Awesome. So we're gonna put like a few drops because that's what I've seen detailers do in YouTube videos. We'll do this. Let's start down here where nobody will ever see. Right. And let's 
let's see. Let's see if it, uh... I still see some scratches. Maybe we move to like the heavier spots. So it is taking some of it out, right? Like yeah. it looks a little bit better, but not like a lot better. Yeah, I think we need to switch the, uh, I think we need to switch the pad on this. Maybe yeah. put a stronger cutting one. Maybe we move to the stronger, stronger one, the medium Ooh. and see. A whole lot of dabs. All right, let's see. Let's try it again. We'll do it in our most crazy area first. So we're still seeing scratches there. It's not doing it. So yeah, maybe I need to put this up a little bit. What's it on right now? Now it's on three. So. It's still there. They're still there. I wonder if it's like cutting compound. We should have probably bought like a stronger cutting compound. Probably. Yeah, like I wonder if it's like this is not like strong enough. Yeah. Like the machine is, but. All right, so Miguel and I have officially, I feel like tried everything that's within our control to do, or at least within our knowledge set. We couldn't figure out doing this. And since it is on a GTR, I swear if this was like any other car, I think we probably wouldn't care. And I feel like we would just keep going at it to figure it out. But because of how expensive these windshields cost, I went and hit up a professional who's gonna be here any minute now, who's gonna actually fix this problem for us. That's all they do. They specialize in window and glass treatments. And he's been nice enough to head over here and get us in today to fit us into his busy schedule. What do you think of how much we tried to get this fixed? <laughs> like ourselves. It's kind of funny because we did all that. And then it's like, eh, let's just call someone up. Right? But I feel like we didn't even like dent this thing. Like, I mean, it's like nothing. It still has like all the scratches and stuff on it. So. Yeah. Literally nothing that we did did it. So, I mean, what else are we gonna do, right? Yeah. Call on the pro. A few moments later. All right, y'all, so the professional has arrived. Mr. Tom, Tom is with Superglass Windshield Repair. Um, now, Tom, you service all of Central Florida, right? Well, I service uh, Lake County, Osceola County, and half of Polk County. Nice, cool. Now, question, Tom, for you. So, um, Miguel and I, uh, we were looking at the glass and then we decided to take the project on ourselves. And so what we did was, is we took a polishing wheel and some compound and tried to take out the scratches ourselves. And with absolutely no luck, nothing happened. What the hell did we do wrong? You have to use sandpaper, but you have to use the correct sandpaper that's set up for the glass. Really? On you glass? Even, I mean, these, this area down here is, you know, I'm going to hit this with like 1,000, then 2,000, and then 4,000 and polish it. But I'm going to polish it first, so when I hit it with the sandpaper, it's going to bite in. Ah, that is crazy, because obviously, do you, always, do you get people's initial reactions when you say you're going to sandpaper it? They're like, oh my gosh, that's yeah, going to... you're going to sand my glass, you're going <laughs> to damage it. No, we're not going to damage it, we're going to correct it and... Make it look right again. Very cool. All right, well, I'm gonna catch you um, going through the process and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how it comes out. By the way, Tom was telling me off camera that he also does residential stuff too. So if you're in the central Florida area and you have any scratches on like your windows or glass, I'll go ahead and include Tom's information in the description box below where you can hit him up, his cell phone, his website, his email, etc. In case you do have any scratch glass or scratch windows on your house, he can also take care of those. Now that Tom's prepped the car, the other thing that he noticed too is that in the windshield, there's like all these divots, like holes, and we're, I'm assuming they're from rock chips, right Tom? Yep, that's what they're from. Yep, and so uh, after he's done polishing the glass and getting it all nice, he's gonna go ahead and fill these too because he can take care of those as well. Freaking stoked, I didn't know you can end up with a, a brand new windshield without having to replace your windshield, which is pretty nice.
So now you're going to 2,000 grit. Yeah, we're still, still, still sanding dry, but now from 1,000 to 2,000. And when I go to 4,000, we'll sand it wet. Nice. So what I'm learning about this is that it's a progression thing. So Tom was explaining to me that it could go like as low as let's say three, four, or three, four, five hundred grit all the way up to a thousand to two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, four thousand wet sand. So like there's a stepping process to this. All right, now Tom just finished up this side. He did say that he still has to clean it, but we're gonna take the same thing that Tom did on this side and repeat it on that side as well. On this side, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over it so everything's uniform. So the only time you actually need to do the sanding is if there's major scratches. Minor nope. or major. So the polishing really just is, so it's uniform. Got it. All right, Tom just finished polishing up this side of the windshield. Now he's gonna come back and then he's gonna go ahead and fill in all of these rock chipped holes. Tom, now for those who are interested in either repairing their automotive windshield, whether scratches or they have the same rock chips that I have, or for the homeowners who are interested in getting um, window or glass repair done on their home, where can they find you? You can find me at uh, superglassclaremont.com or you can call me at 407-797-6640. Awesome, Tom. Thank you so much for all the help. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, I couldn't get really good lighting last night, but it worked out perfect because Miguel wasn't home to be able to see the finished product on the glass. So we're gonna go ahead and get him in a second, but it came out really, Freaking nice, everything came out super perfect. Tom did an amazing job. He fixed all of the cracks in the windshield and any pitting that was going on. Just to show you all from the inside how nice it came out. There's no more scratches, there's no more pitting anywhere, it's just super clear glass. Tom saved us a bunch of freaking money not having to replace the window on a GTR. I don't even wanna know what the cost is, but I'm sure it's gonna be crazy expensive. Let's go get Miguel so we can catch his reaction too. Take a look at what he did. That's just aren't there anymore. Nope, I don't know if you noticed too, all of like where there were like cracks and pits and stuff in the windshield, he like fixed all of those too. Yeah. So everything is just completely, I mean look, How what do you think? How does it even work? How do you do it? So his process was polish the windshield first, like we were doing, so he polished it first, then he went to 1,000, then 2,000, then 3,000, then 4,000 grit sandpaper, wet sanded it, and then polished the glass, and that's how he got all the scratches out. And then all of the like holes in it, he used some sort of like resin that he like put in the hole, like he first like drilled out the hole, then he like put some resin in the hole, and then he put this like, I don't know, some cover thing over it. I don't know if it was another like thin piece of glass or a plastic. Then he used a UV light and that got rid of all the holes and then he like polished the glass all over again. But it came out super freaking nice. Look from the inside. Oh my God. Right? It's so clear now. <laughs> it's such a big difference. Huh? That's so crazy. Right? But it came out good. It did. Wow. Now we hope this video was helpful. Obviously we couldn't figure it out ourselves, but thankfully Tom was able to figure it out. So I'll include the process in the description box below. I would highly recommend hitting up a professional to do this job, but of course, you can take the steps listed below, try it yourself, but you're doing it at your own risk. Now do us a big favor, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Really helps out our video, really helps out the channel. On that note, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead, join the community, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you can stay up to date on all of our future content. With that being said, uh, 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 always pay it forward, right? Is that, is that it? Wow. No. That was really bad. Yeah. Make sure you're putting out good energy into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.